This is Redmi Note 12 and today I would like to demonstrate that you can set up parental controls on this device. So first of all you will need to launch settings, then enter the accounts and sync section. And in here make sure to remove all the Google accounts that you have added if you have any to begin with. Once there are, n there are no Google accounts linked to your system, get back to the main settings page enter Google category, then over here tap at the parental controls, get started, child or teenager, next. Now you're gonna sign into your child's Google account, so let me do exactly that. Just proceed with the login as you would normally do, like accept all the services and what's not. After that, you will need to select the Google account from the list over here that you have just signed into, of course. And now we will need to enter credentials to a, another Google account, but this time the one that you will use to supervise your child's activity or the parent's account. Uh, then you will be forwarded to the About Supervision page, which you will need to scroll all the way down. Then uh, once again enter the child's Google account password, tap at the Agree button, and at the following dialog window that you'll get, opt for the Allow. Now we will wait for parent and uh, child accounts to get linked. Then hit the next button, the manage uh, child's apps step we can, uh, well, skip since we will also be able to do all those configurations like later on and the uh, tool that we will use will grant us with more precision so there is no need to prematurely enable or disable apps unless you want to. And well, generally the idea right now is to finish the setup as soon as possible so there is no need to waste our time for that. The same applies for filters in age restrictions since all of those things we will be able to do later on. And at this point at the manage parental controls page if the phone or whatever device is highlighted uh, over here is the device that you will be using to supervise your child's activity you can tap at the blue install family link button and get the needed app automatically downloaded and installed on your phone. Or you can also manually do that no problem. So by going for the skip option. In here, as you can see, the parental controls were successfully set up and now are active. Now you gotta take your parental or supervisor's phone and download the Family Link app. Once the app is ready, you can go ahead and launch it. In here, make sure to sign in with the parental Google account. That's more or less the only important step that you'll face, or, well, that you will have to take. And uh, inside the app itself, you can do all kinds of uh, stuff and, well, uh, manage your child's activity in many ways, such as setting up the daily usage limits, downtime routine, enable or disable apps as well as set up some app restrictions or generally monitor your child's app activity you can apply content restrictions or well set up perhaps some age filters configure account settings manage uh, devices if you have multiple supervisees added to your family you can also monitor your child's live location or see the device usage highlights Alrighty, so that will be it, at least as far as setting up parental controls goes. We highly appreciate your attention, thanks for watching and bye-bye.